reverse crunch is done on your back with your feet up in the air. And this is your starting position. And if you haven't seen the tailbone raise demonstration, if these activities are new to you, you may want to practice this movement, just pressing your back into the mat first. So make sure you check out that video. Otherwise, a reverse crunch is the same movement. You want to draw in your abs, press your back into the, uh, the mat, and your feet will come up. Make sure you blow out, and then slowly lower back down. So you go up, slowly come back down off onto the mat. Slowly back down. Now notice I'm not kicking with my feet. I'm pressing my back into the mat, drawing my navel in, and then slowly lifting my feet up and slowly coming back down. Want to add a little more challenge, you can progress and add the corkscrew. So when your feet are up, you twist and come back down. Go back up, twist the opposite direction. So I'm going to go up, twist to the right, go back down, go up, twist to the left. Make sure your, your butt is off of the mat before you begin your corkscrew twist. A little, a little twisted on the mat here. Okay, so again, you're going to go up, then twist, then back down, up, then twist, then back down. And... See my little ball here. Feel a little bit more of a challenge. Hold a ball between your feet. That's always fun to do. This isn't a heavy ball. It's a beach ball, but still works your inner thighs something. So again, reverse crunch. Go up, slowly back down. Or the reverse crunch with corkscrew. Up, twist, back down. Up, twist, back down. And even though this ball isn't weighted, I can definitely still feel it in my obliques because it challenges my feet a little bit more because my feet aren't together and they're having to hold the ball stable. So give it a try. <laughs> 